Um, federated learning is a machine learning technique um, where the centralized approach of the classical machine learning is distributed to different parties and multiple parties. And, and this has the big advantage to be able to extra, uh, exchange knowledge in an abstract way by only exchanging the model parameters instead of uh, the underlying data in uh, the centralized setting. Um, and on the other hand, there is a reduction of uh, communication cost, which is very expensive by transmitting the data. And here you only transmit a fraction of the data, meaning the model parameters themselves, um, yeah, which is also beneficial. And in the project, our aim is to uh, combine multiple partners that have the same goals, um, which then are able to collaborate together and improve uh, yeah, solutions in a, in a specific uh, field in the power electronics. A big benefit of the federated learning is to exchange the knowledge from confidential data without actually exchanging the confidential data. And also in the PowerRise project we have several partners from different industries, also the automotive industries, which gives them the ability to um, commonly uh, improve an existing solution of, um, of a problem um, by um, contributing with the knowledge of the private data that they own without actually sharing it to other partners. So that's the main benefit. So as you already mentioned, um, the question about the federated learning security by design, in my opinion, it's not true that the federated learning by design is not secure, since as in every security related topic, you have um, different methods that can break the security and also in federated learning. Um, uh, here in the federated learning setting, you have different levels that can be attacked uh, on the one hand of the server, but on the other hand, the clients that are participating and the third side would be the communication. In the communication, you can have the classical um, IT security attacks, like for example, spying the communication and also manipulating, manipulating it. And on the other hand, on the server side, for example, you have an attack called inverting gradients, which um, uses the model's parameters to reconstruct the underlying data that the model was trained on, which uh, is very uh, successful and you can clearly see the data shape. Um, on the client side there uh, can be for example malicious um, participants for example that are called Byzantine participants which uh, have the goal to insert a, a malicious model to the whole system um, which then creates a backdoor and via that backdoor you can um, yeah, get information of the system and the underlying participants and even the data. So as there are some attacks uh, on the federated learning system, you can also have defense mechanisms. Um, on the communication side, it's very simple. You can have an encrypted uh, connection, for example, by SSL or TLS. On the server side, uh, there is a mechanism called secure aggregation, um, where an uh, method is to um, distribute a secret of a participant to, a, to multiple parties and these parties um, independently compute um, the, the model weights for example and then they are added together back um, and so this gives the server no, no chance to uh, get information about the underlying model or even the data. On the client side there is a mechanism called differential privacy um, where you, where the client adds some kind of noise to its data before the model is trained to secure um, the data shape itself and to make it unable for the attacker to get the underlying information. So in the PowerRise uh, project and especially in the use case that I'm co-leading, um, we are uh, planning to develop an easy to use and easy to reuse system that also considers um, data privacy and privacy of the individuals. And this uh, should open the possibility to get more and more partners involved uh, into 
um, the, uh, improving existing solutions and uh, thus if we have uh, more data available then the, the system or the models itself get even better and better and this should motivate different partners to um, contribute to these improvements. So uh, federated learning is a machine learning technique um, on how to train a model. That, 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 that's bad. <laughs> Maybe I can repeat the... Uh, yes, yes. The, the, the last one. Or the, the two applications. It is... Um, <laughs>